Hey guys, I'm Jack. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, this is the place where I teach you how to run a zero cost YouTube channel using AI and automation tools. Today, I'm going to share a super trick with you, which is how to create an anime fanfiction generator with AnecdN. But before we get started, I want to show you my result first. This is the earnings from one of my 30 plus YouTube channels. And here I'm showing you the earnings from last October to now. This one channel on average makes about 8,000 Hong Kong dollars, which is around a thousand bucks in US dollars. I currently have over 30 YouTube channels and they are all powered by my self-made generators and anagram workflows. And they're all helping me to make money now. So today I'm going to review one of my weapons, which is a complete tutorial on generating anime fanfiction with anagram. If you want to learn these workflows or even use my generators, don't forget to join my Patreon. In the upcoming months, I'll be sharing all these workflows on my Patreon. As long as you join my Patreon, you can directly download and start using these generators to make videos and upload to YouTube and start making money. There's also another Patreon perk. You can join my Discord channel and every week I will offer a one-on-one -on -one session with all of my members. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And one more thing, I'm planning to raise the price of my Patreon subscription starting on 4th of April. So if you're interested, join us as soon as possible. So now let's dive into our today's tutorial. So today we are going to do a anime fanfiction generator, which is one of my favorite workflows that I've been using right now for my channels. So in here on my screen, as you can see, there are two YouTube channels. These two guys are also doing the anime fanfiction and you can see one of them got 100K subscribers and another one got almost 70K. So in my today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this content and then post it on YouTube. So now let's go to our Elegant workflow and see how I create such content. And in here you can see we have a very clean workflow. And now I'm going to do a test workflow and then see the result. And this time this workflow is going to take a bit while to generate the video. So, so I'm going to fast forward the whole process. So now the workflow is done. Let's go to my YouTube channel and check out the video. Forests of the land of fire rustled under the weight of an unnatural silence, the usual chorus of birds and insects absent as if the very air held its breath. Naruto Uzumaki crouched low on a thick tree branch, his bright orange jacket stark against the shattered greens and brown. So first of all, we have to set the anime that we are going to do. So based on that anime, we will ask Dipseek to generate a plot for this anime and create a sort of a fanfiction story. And in here, why we are using Dipseek? Because you can tell from the title and from my content of the video. Because Dipseek is a very powerful AI. It knows kind of like all the anime and then all the stories. So for example, in here, I want to do a video content on Naruto. So I pass this name to Dipseek. So I ask Dipseek to generate a fanfiction plot based on Naruto. So this is what he comes up with. So you can see from the title, actually he knows Naruto and he knows kind of like all the enemies. He knows the characters. He knows what the story is about. He knows what he needs to put in the fan fiction story. So that's why we're using Deep Seeking here. And after we have the plot, we will pass this plot to Amazon Poly and then to create the AI voice for us. And then we will use Getaway DL, which we have talked about in our previous videos, and then to use it to scrape the screenshots of the anime. And then here comes the most important part. Unlike other anime fanfiction videos, we are going to use these images to do some video editing to make it more like an animation instead of just using those static photos. So the backend server that I create would put these photos together, and then instead of putting them just as a static photo, we will scroll from left to right, right to left, top to bottom or bottom to top. We'll do this all kind of random effect. So to make it more like an animation instead of just a static photo. So later on, you will see my workflow. I have all the plots and then everything set in there. All you have to do is just go to my workflow, do some setup, like put your API key in there, your YouTube credentials in there, and then put the anime content that you want to do in our sets variables. Then everything will be all set. And with just one button, you will have this kind of videos post on your YouTube channel. So basically you can do any Japanese or any anime that you want to do. You can do Dragon Ball, One Piece, or even you can do some Marvel stuff, DC stuff, whatever you like. And also you can do 10 minutes content, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 
40 minutes. I have all the prompts up for you. So later on you will see I have all the node in there indicating which one is for 40 minutes script and then which one is for 10 minutes script. So you just have to go to my workflow and then do some easy setup and then you are good to go. So right now let's dive into the course of our video. When we do this anime fanfiction video generator, we first need to have the story plot which is generated by Deepseek. And then we're going to spend one cent in here. For the images, we're going to use together with the L2 script the images, right? So this is for free. And then if you don't know how to use together with the L, you can check out our previous videos. We have a full tutorial to show you how to use the Gary DL and to download and scrape all the images or videos, whatever you want. And now when it comes to the narration, we're going to use Amazon Poly to do the test to speech. And it, since we're at free tier, so we don't have to spend any money on this. And then for the subtitles part, we're using OpenAI Whisper to do the subtitles. This is optional, so if you want to do subtitles in your video, you can do it. I have this all set in the workflow. You just go to there and then turn on the Whisper then you we're good to go and if you're going to do the subtitles then you will have to spend six cents on this and then now it comes to the cloud storage we're using amazon s3 as always since we're at free tier so we don't have to pay anything and then for the last one is the video editor we are using the backend server that I create. So if you want to use my backend server, you have to subscribe my Patreon. And if you're going to make 10 videos per day, then on average, you will have to spend six cents for each video. And for the total, if you don't use the subtitles, then you just have to do seven cents. If you want to do the subtitles in your video, then it will be 13 cents. And for the things you need, for the first one, you need to have the Docker desktop for NN and our backend server. And then you need the Amazon token, YouTube API key, DeepSeek API key, and also the OpenAI API key if you are going to do the subtitles in your video. And for the last one is the images. So right now, let's dive into our workflow. And from now on, we are going to have two sessions for our tutorial. For the first part, I'm going to show you what you need to set in here. And then once you have set a thing, then you are good to go to create the videos and post on your YouTube channel. And for the second part, I'm going to go into details to explain what these nodes are going to do. So now we go to the very first part, which is sets variables. We open this node and then in here you will see for the first one is the title. This one is the anime that you are going to do. So for example, I want to do Naruto for my channel. I'll put Naruto in here. If you want to do Dragon Ball, you just put Dragon Ball in here. Or if you want to do Iron Man, you can do anything you like. And now it comes to description. And here, this is the video description. You can put any description you like in here, but I have this set for you. So you can just use my templates in here. Then you're good to go to create the YouTube videos. And then we comes to the tag. So this one as well, I have this set for you. I put the anime fanfiction, all the tags in here. So if you want to do your own tag, you just have to follow my format in here. Put a quotation and then put, for example, like, Iron Man in here. And then here we come to the image folder. This one is very important. So I'm going to show you how we're going to set this photo path. So if you have been with us, then you will have this folder, which is Gallery DL. This is the folder that we use Gallery DL to scrape the images and videos, right? And let's say if you want to do Naruto and you want to do something like I did, I can share the link with you. Then you just go to there and then do the Gallery DL scraping. Then you will have the images that I had in here. My images are put in under Naruto, this folder. So as you can see in here, I have like 600 images. So all you need to do is just put app video folder. And then after app video folder, you just copy this anime and then Naruto and then put it in here. If you don't have this gallery DL folder, you can just create any folder you like and then mount it in the Docker file. So like we are passing this folder to the Docker, then the Docker will know where to find the resources. And then here it comes the S3 bucket name. So in here, we're going to upload the videos generated to this bucket. So you can put any bucket name or any bucket that you like. And then for the audio bucket, this is for the Amazon Poly to upload the audio. So make sure this bucket is in the US East one region. And now once we have all this set, then we're going to do the API key and the tokens and the credential stuff. So the first one we're going to do is uh, we go to this generate title node. 
this is the node that we use DeepSeek. So in here, we put uh, we go to header off, we put DeepSeek in here, and that's it. You don't have to touch anything because I have this all set for you. And now we go to this free node. So in here, I put a memo in here. So these nodes are for the 10 to 15 minutes plot. If you want to do 20 minutes, you can go to here. We have a 20 minutes plot. If you want to do more, we have a 30 minutes plot as well. If you want to do more, you can ask me in the Discord channel. I have all the plots set already, so you just pay me in there. I'll send you the workflow. So now back to here, you have to open this node and then put um, DeepSeek in here. And then for these two as well. So once we have set the DeepSeek API key, then we go down here. If you are going to do the subtitles, make sure you turn on this two node. And then in here, you have to put the credentials for the Amazon. And remember, you are going to use the East one region bucket. And also we will go to Whisper and you set up the OpenAI credentials in here as well. So once you have these two sets, basically it will create the videos with the subtitles. But if you don't want to do subtitles, make sure you turn these two off and then go to generate video node. Go to the very last part, you see subtitles in here, right? If you don't want to do subtitles, you can just delete the item. And that's it. And now we move on to download video node. You just put your credentials in here. And then for the very last part, we go to create YouTube project. In here, Google OAuth to API, you just put your API key in here for your YouTube channel. And then same for the last one, upload to YouTube. And now we're good to go. So all you need to do is just set up all these things, all the API keys, all the credentials, then you are good to go test the workflow. And then we will have the anime fan fiction video upload to your YouTube channel. And that's it. So if you want to use this workflow or any workflow that I have been doing, subscribe my Patreon, then you will get all this workflow and then all the tutorial stuff. And now I'm going to go to the details and explain our workflow. So now we go to the first part, search variables. In here, we have the title, right? Originally, I put Naruto in here, so I put Naruto back. What we're going to do is that we're going to pass Naruto to this node, which is generate title. We're asking DeepSeek to generate a highly original Naruto fanfiction title in English with a wildly unexpected twist. So basically, I'm asking him to create me a YouTube video title and also a, and also a title for my plot. As you can see here in the output, we have the title and the script. For the title, this is for the YouTube video title. For the script, we're going to pass this script to the other free node to DeepSeek and then ask him to generate the plot based on this script. And then we have a code in here. We are doing some coding thing. So what we're going to do is just extract the title and the script and then put it in here. And now we move on to this free plot. For the first one, let's check out the first one. So we have the script, right? So we will pass the script to here, and then we will say based on this title, begin a story without repeating the title, and then focus on setting up the story background and the character's motivations. And the most important part is that we're going to include the detailed fight scenes with the description of attacks, counters, and transformations. So these are the most useful part. In our anime fanfiction, all we have to do is just put all the fight scenes in there because your audience loves the fight scenes. And with this kind of plot, when the audience is watching the videos, they are like watching the animation. So, so this is why this kind of content is very popular and very easy to make money. And then for plot 2 and plot 3, they are almost the same. So for plot 2, we're going to talk about the main conflict and then put a intense battles in it. And then for the last part, we're going to say this is the this is part three. Focus on the final battle. So part three is kind of like the ending of our story. So once we have this free plot, then we're going to summarize it, pass it to Prodi, and then to use the AI voice to generate the audio. So if you go to Prodi here, we have the script, and then in here for the voice ID, I'm using Matthew. 
So this is a male voice with a US accent. You can do anything you like, because like I said, because I want to make everything easy for you, so I use Mathurin here. If you want to do any other voice, you're welcome to do it. You just have to change this voice ID to the one that you want to do. And then after we do the proly, we're going to go to a loop in here. So to check the audio status, we have explained this loop system in our last video. So if you want to learn more, you can go check out our last video. And then in here, like I said before, if you want to do subtitles, make sure you turn these two notes on. And then for this note, we're going to download the audio generated by the proly. So we have the bucket name here and also the file key. And then we're going to pass this audio to whisper. And then Whisper will create the SRT file and then pass it to this generate video node. And then in here, we have all the stuff that you set in the very first node, which is the set variables. So we have the image folder, audio bucket, audio key, and also the final video bucket name. So we put everything in here to make it more easy to use this workflow. So you don't have to go to all the nodes and then put all the stuff in there. So you just have to set one node in the set variables put everything in there, then I will help you to pass those stuff to all the nodes. And then we will go to download video. Like I said, we're going to download the video like we always do. So one more thing is that we go to create user project, open it. So in here you can see we have the title created by DeepSeek. And then for the description, we're going to use the one that you set in the set variables. So you can see here. And then for the tag, same for the tag as well. So this is how we create this anime fanfiction generator. And, and once again, if you want to join us, you have to hurry and hope I can see you in my Discord channel. And for my subscribers, once again, thank you all for subscribing. And if you have any questions, just ping me in Discord channel and then feel free to do a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So that's all for today's tutorial. I'll see you next time. Bye.